the 54-year-old founder of World Central Kitchen, slamming the Israeli military for the attack that killed seven of the group's aid workers in Gaza. They were targeted systematically, car by car. Celebrity chef Jose Andres, in a jarring interview with Reuters, describes how the vehicles in the team's convoy were fired on. They attacked the first car. We have a feeling they were able to escape safely because it was an armored vehicle. They were able to move in the second one. Again, this one was hit. They were able to move in the third one. Andres says his team tried to communicate with the Israel Defense Forces at that moment. In the chaos of the moment, um, whatever happened, they uh, to try to be telling IDF that, that what are they doing, that they were targeting us in a conflicting zone, in an area controlled by IDF, them knowing that was our teams moving on that route. Regarding Israeli claims that the attack was a mistake and unintentional, Andres brushed back fiercely. This was not just a bad luck situation where, oops, uh, we dropped the bomb in the wrong place or, or no. This was over 1.5, 1.8 kilometers with a very defined humanitarian convoy that had signs in the top, in the roof, uh, a very colorful logo that we are obviously very proud of, but that, that's very clear who we are and what we do. It seems that what is happening in Saigasa is like a true Hunger Games. This has to end. Andres went after the leadership of Israel and the U.S. We are letting the people of Palestine down. U.S. must do more. I need to understand that this was not by somebody that is above law and order that decided used to kill us because, I don't know, maybe because I did a tweet that was very strong against President Netanyahu. Andres repeatedly rejected Israeli and U.S. claims that the strikes on his team were not deliberate. Even if we were not in coordination with the IDF, not democratic country and not military can be targeting civilians and humanitarians, especially when the technology today allows you to know things in ways not too long ago was not possible. Those drones have eyes on everything that moves in Gaza. I've been there. This is drones non-stop flying above you. It's nothing that moves that IDF doesn't know. But said that, even nobody should be targeting ever humanitarian organizations and civilians continuously. Asked if World Central Kitchen will start its operations again in Gaza, Chef Andres said their work is, quote, halted, but that they're analyzing the situation hour by hour to figure out how to keep doing the work. And in a pointed message to the Israeli prime minister. I will tell to Prime Minister Netanyahu, 200 humanitarians have died already. Tens of thousands of civilians have died. I'm so sorry, but I, I think... One humanitarian life is one too many. One children is one too many.